Is that everybody you may not get counted? Everybody go through? Why do you why do you do that? Why do you count? We've, we've left people out here many times. <laughs> and some poor kids out on the side of a dirt road, no phone, no way to get back, with the injured whatever. Waiting for somebody to pass by one of these dirt roads to pick them up. What are they doing today? Just long run. Nice and easy. Probably anywhere from I'd guess six to eighteen, depending on who they are. Is there anything that you kind of focus on for this? Like, because obviously they worked out yesterday. This kind of started yeah. the week, so kind of how do you? Really, just what you hear right now. Just that excitement, that enthusiasm. Just you know, other than just getting together and run, run as a group. I just like this that part of this. Other than that, we don't really tell them anything. But, you know, I, I, just, I love mornings like this. Everybody's excited and talking and laughing and whatever. Hey, like I said yesterday, good job on, the, on those workouts. Those were really, really good. We are kind of where we need to be later, now, okay? So um, don't get overexcited. Don't keep pushing. Just look, right now, let's just kind of keep it on ice a little bit. We don't have to make a ton of progress. Just stay steady. Um, like I said, that top to bottom, men and women, everybody just really, really looked good yesterday. So I don't want to take any risk. Have fun storming the castle. <laughs> Hey, Brian and Dennis. Where are those guys? Hey, um, keep your mileage. Don't get your mileage too low, okay? okay. How, how much are you going to get this week? You know? Do you keep track? Yeah, I will get like, if I go like 14 today, it would be like 8. You'll get how many? 8. Okay, is that about right for you? Yeah. Is that about what you've been doing? Yeah, okay. I've been doing like, because last year I was doing like 75, 70. Okay. Yeah, but this, this year I'm, I'm afraid to. I'm okay. Because right, we're going to run 1250. Okay. We're going to run 1250 this spring. 1250? Oh. Yeah, right? All right, let's go. <laughs> That's a. So how many miles are you going to go today? Actually, I'm doing 14. 14? I just doing 14 easy days. <laughs> so where are we going? We are going to the next checkpoint, which is about five miles out. And we'll stop there so they can get some water. And a lot of the girls will get their snacks that they Snacks. Yeah. You guys on this trail often? Yeah, every Sunday. This is what we call Cottonwood because that road, the rough road that starts the run, is Cottonwood Road. Got it. I look over them. Much better terrain. So yeah. I say the first couple miles of Cottonwood are a little <laughs> that was... iffy, yeah. And the ground's so sandy right now. Yeah. So how many times have you run on this road now for you? How many times total? For you. Oh, for me? Because you're what, sixth year? This is my fifth year. Fifth yeah. year? Um, man, 
too many to count. We really didn't do it our freshman year because of COVID and he didn't want us in the van. So we started coming out here, I'd say, towards the end of my sophomore, first semester of my sophomore year. So honestly, probably over 100 for sure. <laughs> yeah. Well, maybe not that much, but it's, yeah, it's up there. Yeah. Yeah, it's tough, but it works, so. Was that just five miles? That yeah, that's five miles, yeah. And what pace do you try to do on these long runs? Uh, honestly, and during cross, it depends on how I feel. Because uh, we do 10 miler tomorrow to close on uh, Saturday. So, previous chill. weeks, yeah. We, we, sometimes we keep it chill, but on this road, sometimes you just get rolling. And it's hard to uh, stop, but last week, I mean, I probably averaged 650 this week. Uh, probably low 16s, 620s, because I'm feeling pretty good. And sometimes this guy likes to hammer out here. <laughs> but he's decided to keep it chill this week. We had uh, quite a long temper yesterday, so he's just finding how we get today. Yeah. Yeah, Dave was saying that the workout yesterday was a good indicator of the, the fitness of the crew. Oh yeah, we're all, we're so deep this year. I mean, this is our best workout of the year because everyone stayed together and it was nice and smooth. It was also the best weather we had. Uh, previous weeks we've been waking up at uh, like 4.45 because it's like 80 degrees by the time we start. But yeah. yesterday I want to say it was like in the low to mid 50s. So. Everyone was feeling good, so I'm hoping as you know we get onto the later months, and it stays that way, and it's, you know we start to really feel good and start to really rip. See, the one wheel does work. It does, it does. It just, <laughs> it's just, it's just, like I said, the terrain of the first couple of miles, like, I don't know if Gordon can make it up. Yeah, I should have started that. Yeah. yeah. You should have started from here. Yeah. Yeah, I want, it's like from miles four to, or four to five to, I don't know, until you get back to that point. The terrain's pretty good. It's like this with the first couple, just, it's, but it's not great. The workout video would just been like a black screen. Yeah. They ran far. <laughs> And then they came back. <laughs> yeah. Wow, this, it's good to come out here because you don't get a lot of cars. And it's just, you know, kind of nice being away from town for a bit. Thanks for a good run. the uh, weekly mileage you guys are putting up uh, this month of September? Um, recently, uh, I've been hitting like 95, 96 a week. I had to take a couple days off this week because I was feeling a little sore and had some pain in my calf. But other than that, I'm consistently at, uh, or I have been consistently at 95 to 60, uh, or 95 to 96 the whole summer. Is everyone like, are you like that? Are you uh, last um, mileage? I started like three weeks ago. But like I, but like most of the time I stayed on like 85, 90 miles, yeah, like yeah. in the city. Mm -hmm. This guy, he's an 800 runner. Yeah, so he's doing like <laughs> long run with us yeah. sometimes. As I'll say, he's not used to the Cottonwood runs. This is Betty's first year yeah, out in the Cottonwood. That's how I'm doing this one. But a 95 is like the highest I've ever hit, so just trying to stay consistent and 
uh, be ready for cross nats. So who else is up up ahead of us? Up there should be Victor, Brian, LeBon, and Dennis. I want to say they usually go around 12, 13. I mean, Victor will go 20. Really? Uh, Brian, yeah. Victor, <laughs> Victor kind of hammers out here. Um, plus some other guys go 18 to 20 today too, but when we, since we do the 10 miler on Sunday or Saturday, we usually hit the uh, four mile warm up and four mile cool down, so That's like it's quite 18. a happy day, yeah. Yesterday was my long run, yeah. basically. <laughs> yeah, I, I, count, I really count yesterday as my long run today. I, I'm still going 16, which is two less, but I just do it to kind of get the mileage in and feel good. Yeah, that's it. So, but once we get later on into the season, we'll uh, kind of, I guess, cut the two milers out and then we'll get back into a more traditional long run on every on Sundays. They may get a little rocky up here. Sometimes the rock man likes to come out and uh, re-rock the road. Yeah, it's starting to bump you. Yeah, I, it's just like little stretches all the time that are more rock than others, and it's like, why is it like this?
and they just decided to go out further today. <laughs> I was about to say, we're about to hit seven soon. catch them on the way back. Right. I need to take a break from my calves. <laughs> yeah, I bet their bird is going up that way. Yeah. Basically, you're constantly on your toes, yeah. so you're constantly flexing your calf. Yeah. Good workout for them, huh? All right. See ya.
still rolling. <laughs> yeah. How far in the run are we? How many miles? I'm just going 14, 14, 7, and then I'm going 7. Where are we now? Huh? Where are we now? I'm at 10, 10.2. 10 miles. All right, well, I think this is the end of the road. <laughs> See you later. See if we can do this. We might be in the front. Kind of look across the start line, I'll see you. Yeah. How many miles do you guys have today? Uh, we got 14. 14? I think today we are taking it easy. Yeah. Uh, I told you tomorrow, yesterday was uh, fast, so yeah. today we are in an easy pace. Me and Laban are uh, best running buddies. <laughs> we do everything together. Yeah. We finish each other's laughs. laughs. Yeah. It's beautiful out there, isn't it? Yeah. I'm like running in Italy. Yeah. <laughs> so today we are taking a easy long run. Like, uh, yesterday was a quick fast, so the days are a lot space. This is the dreaded clay. <laughs> this is what killed me last time. You gotta put that in the video. Oh yeah, I will. That'll be, that'll be bloody funny. <laughs> we told you it was gonna happen. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> He's filming the secret running location. This is Dave Smith's secret hideout. Nobody knows about Cottonwood. <laughs> Only a select few know about this place. Do you only come here for long runs? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, we just uh, we just do Sunday here. Yeah. I think it's me Sunday. We just have a long run. Yeah. All right. Yeah. It's good. It's a very nice place. No, no. It's just like a different planet as well. Yeah. It's like you look down there, man. It's just. Yeah. It's like we're on Mars. <laughs> Mind if I come on your left side? That's cool. The weather today is so beautiful. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Up, yeah. You know, I met the guy that um, hosts the world championships for one wheels. 
Oh, oh really? Wow. Yeah. <laughs> I was riding my bike in Scotland, found this lock, and this guy came past me on one of those. Oh, it was like super <laughs> tough, had LEDs and stuff. Yeah. yeah. And I took a video of him. Nice. And like, he told me his Instagram, I tagged him, and he's like the, uh, the founder of One Wheel Racing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. He, like, he runs a company that does it. Well, I'm not a racer, as you can tell. Oh, oh. Get off. Get off. Oh. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna lose you guys eventually, but <laughs> I'll catch you guys at the end. You gotta do it for the shot. All right, I'll see ya. <laughs> How was it? Pretty good, 16 miles. That's good. Pretty fast average today, yeah. considering the workout we did. So. That's good. And what's your kind of recovery like this late morning, afternoon? Uh, well, I'm gonna go play around the golf later, so. Okay. <laughs> um, honestly, probably just rest until then. I'm gonna get treatment done. I gotta get a needle today, which is not the greatest thing in the world, but it's the best form of treatment in my opinion, so I'm gonna do that. But, yeah, kind of a baby about it, but it works. <laughs> It works, but other than that, yeah, just typical Sunday would be honestly just to watch football. Nice. Uh, relax with the guys. Not do much because, like I said, it's a hefty weekend, so just got to recover for the week.